what is it? Surely this isn't the first time you'll see me in this orange suit. Try not to get into any more trouble. We don't want to see your face here again. Well, I have nowhere to go. So you might as well continue to lock me up in here. If you're caught committing a crime again, you'll be right back in prison. It's your call. Mom, what are you doing in my place so early in the morning? I just want to congratulate you on your first day of work as the new director of your company. You've only worked there for five years, yet look at how far up the ladder you have climbed. Thanks, Mom. Make sure you use your position to do the right thing. Remember the daughter of who you are? I will, Mom. I trust you will. You've always been a good child, a little stubborn, but good. I believe you all voted for me because I stand by what is right, come what may. This is why, my trusted and unbiased HR team has come up with a list of persons, 23 to be precise, who would unfortunately no longer be working with us as a result of their shady practices in one way or another. Calm down. If you've been doing what's expected of you, then you are definitely not on the list. I'll have the HR manager paste the list on the notice board by the accounting wing after this meeting. Next on our agenda is the Christy, you came to work early today for the first time in a long time. Please be quiet. The walls have ears. If that witch finds out I've been coming to work late, I might join the 23 workers she's laid off this year. How can someone be that evil? Laying off all those people from their livelihoods because they did what they had to do to make ends meet. It's pure evil against humanity. Yet she claims to be a Christian. That's why she's not married yet. Yes. She'll never get married. <laughs> I'm so dead. When will these people realize I did this for them? They won't even have a job to go to three years from now if I allow those scoundrels I fired to continue working here. Dear Jenny, I recall telling you during our chat that I have been homeless for quite some time now. I would really appreciate it if you let me move in with you. As childhood friends, we had a strong bond and we understand each other well. Living together would be really fun. Best regards, Talula. You want to get a new roommate? Who? Talula. Isn't she supposed to be in jail or something? Mom. She got out over three years ago. Why is she coming to live in your house? Doesn't she have anyone else's place to go to? She's fallen on hard times, Mom. She only needs a place for a while. I'm always on the road because of the nature of my job. And since I have two spare rooms, I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Letting someone with such a history move in with you? She is a different person now, Mom. I've been talking with her on Facebook for a few months now. I know Talula. Don't tell me what I know. You didn't even know she'd gotten out of jail. My point is that you don't help people because you have to. You help people as the Spirit of God leads you to. Mom, please don't start quoting scripture. My childhood friend needs help, and I have the power to offer it to her. Besides, it's just for a while, Mom. Please? Jenny, there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end. Mom. I know you were concerned because of Talula's poor choices in the past, but I promise that as soon as I suspect something sinister, I'll send her packing. It's time for you to take your medication. I already did. You can't keep taking it whenever you want, Mom. Remember how the doctor warned us about the dangers of not taking your medication at the right time last week? I haven't dropped dead, have I? Mom. Talula. It's so nice to finally meet you in person after, like, six years of not seeing you. That was back in college, right? Graduation day to be precise. You were the best of us, Talula. That day you gave your valedictorian speech, I could already see you working with NASA five years from then. I guess you were terrible at guessing. You really should stay away from gambling, because look at what I turned out to be, a boring loser. No, I don't mean it that way. Wait, do you gamble? What? Of course not. Where is your place? I hope it's not far away from here. It takes about half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. But we could make good use of that time, you know, catching up on old times. I'm tired. I want to sleep. 
Okay, then, sleep it is. This will be your room for as long as you live here. Wow. I have my own room now. If I had known sooner that you had such a great place, I would have asked to move in earlier. Life has been really easy on you. You were so lucky. My mom always says luck is all about being prepared to accept opportunities. Well, do you believe her? I believe in being intentional about life. Settle into your new room. Bills are more expensive here in the city, so please be discreet with how you use the utilities. You got it. See you later. Hey. Thank you for doing me this favor. I promise not to be a nuisance to you while I'm here. I'll count on that. What happened here? Tamula, what have I gotten myself into? Hello, roommate. I wasn't expecting you to be back from your trip so soon. Talula, what happened to the living room? I don't know. Have you tried asking the living room? It can very much hear you, you know. We are all made up of energy. The trees, the walls, the bird. Energy is the core of everything on Earth. Talula, shut up, please. You're freaking me out. If you don't want any of my freakiness, then use the door. And make sure to shut it on your way out. No, we need to talk. You are sounding like Mrs. Arcade right now, and I hate it. Okay, fine. I was looking for something earlier today. I had to ransack the whole place until I found it. What were you looking for? Forget it. It's not important. It was important enough for you to trash my living room. This is why I don't tell the truth. I'm asking because I don't want this to repeat itself again. You don't lift a finger to help out with the chores around here. You know what? Just leave, will you? Right. But this had better not repeat itself again. How are you doing, Miss Jenny? I'm good. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I am. Have you compiled the list I asked you to? My secretary is still working on it. As soon as she's done, I'll go through it and have it sent to your office if it's okay. It's not due until tomorrow, right? Right. You know, I overheard Lucy and Christy talking about you today. Those two again. It seems like they're notorious gossipers. You have no idea. Gossiping the director is grossly unprofessional and should not be condoned in any way. If you want me to fire them, I could totally- It's okay. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. What were they saying about me? One of them said you locked your friend, who graduated at the top of your class in your apartment for weeks now because she's more intelligent than you. And that you refuse to let her work because you're afraid she would outshine you. Wow. Isn't it crazy how much people can take things out of context? So it's true you have someone locked up in your house? Of course not. We're only sharing my apartment for now. She's going through some stuff. Oh. Okay. However, if your friend is really going through stuff like you mentioned, then maybe she should see a professional. You know, so you don't get blamed if things get out of hand. Thanks for your advice, Manly. But Talula is okay. Okay. <coughs> what is it? What happened to my toilet? I was pressed, and I decided to use the toilet for what it was meant for. You have a toilet in your room, Talula. Why did you have to use mine? Well, yours is more comfy. Why exactly were you screaming? My toilet is a mess. Seeing your waste smudged all over my toilet wall grosses me out. That's why I screamed. I was only trying not to waste too much water. I didn't want another fight to erupt like it did with the foam bill saga last week. You need to get a job. If you start to pay for some of the bills around here, then I think you'll stop this destructive behavior of yours. Duh, no one's going to hire me. I would put in a word for you at the office. You had better not disappoint me. Really? You'll do that? It will be so nice to have a real job again. What position are you going to recommend me for? Vice President, I know you're intelligent, but you don't have any qualifications, and you're an ex-convict. Don't remind me of that again. I could put in a word for you as a cleaner. It's just a start. You can work your way up from there. Okay. If you ask me, I won't advise you recommend Talula for a position at your office. 
That girl should not even be living with normals. She should be in a psych ward. Mom. Talula is as sane as either of us. I'm only recommending her for a cleaning position. There's no way she can constitute a nuisance there. Why do I have a feeling you were doing this to redeem your name at the office? You're not a bad person, Jenny. You did what you had to do. Mom, it's not about me. I'm doing this for Talula. I don't know why you tell me about your plans when you were going to end up doing things your own way. Okay, fine. No job for Talula. Now, you are making me feel like a bad person. Go ahead and get her a job. But make sure you keep an eye on her at all times. Watch her like a hawk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's stalking mom, and it's illegal. Not again. Why is my office so dusty? The other cleaners do their job at the right time. Every day I have to call Talula on the phone to remind her to do her job. Perhaps I should have asked the HR department to assign her to someone else's office instead of mine. I'll go talk to the HR manager about doing that ASAP. Excuse me? What is happening here? Busted. You caught me. Can either of you explain what is happening here? Have you never seen two couples in love make out before? Manly, you the HR manager, the one to whom the company entrusts the ultimate decision as to who is good enough to work here. It's so disappointing to see you do this to my friend. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I've been without a date for months now because of my poor social skills, so when she offered herself to me for a little amount, I couldn't turn her down. You have only spent 13 working days in this company, Talula, and yet you're already hawking your body for money? Don't blame me, Jenny. I needed more money to care for myself. Why didn't you ask me? Would you have given it to me? Don't think that because I'm sharing a place with you that you have earned the right to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. Talula, you were fired. Please don't fire me. I'm really sorry. I'll let you resign and leave the company honorably, so your CV doesn't get soiled. You have two days to do that. Talula, open this door. Go away. I don't want to talk to you. I'm only doing this because I care about you, Talula. Also, since you live with me now, whatever you do might negatively impact my reputation. People already hate you, Jenny. You are so selfish. Everything you do is about you, yourself, or you. That's why no one likes you. That's not true. Manly doesn't have your interests at heart. He's only interested in satisfying himself. Thank you, Guardian Angel, for caring for me, but I want to be left alone. Talula, open the door let's talk this through. I'm leaving for France tomorrow. Go away, Jenny. I can't believe I let someone with a history of really horrible choices in the past into my house and my life. What was I thinking? When I travel back from my business meeting in France, we'll have a more heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Hello? What? Is my mother okay? Answer me. I'm taking the next flight back home. Is everything okay, ma'am? I overheard you saying you want to take the next flight back home when you literally just got to your destination. It's a medical emergency. I hope she gets well soon. I'm Micah. I'm Jenny. How is it that we sat side by side for 8 hours without saying a word to each other? You know, I can't believe you traveled back from France just to come see me at the hospital. I was really scared when Mrs. Lee called me. With the way she was stalling, I thought something bad might have happened. Well, thank you for growing up to be such a responsible young lady, Jenny. I thank God for your life. Not too many people would agree with you on that one. If they don't see how kind you are, it's because they are blind, and that is in no way your fault. Thank you, Mommy, for always being there to boost my self-esteem. Family never says thank you. I'm pretty sure you told me thank you just minutes ago. You'll be staying with me until you're strong enough. Come on, you've done enough. I'm stronger than you think. 
You said the same thing last time, only for you to go ahead and take the wrong dose of your medication and ended up in the emergency room. I'm not letting that happen again, not on my watch. Jenny. Mom, we're almost at my place. There's no going back. Hi. Sorry, who are you? I live here. Who are you? What do you mean you live here? Oh, I see. You need a place. But unfortunately, this one is filled up. I'm calling the cops. What is wrong with you? Why do you want to call the cops on me for literally doing nothing but sitting in the living room of an apartment I paid for? You paid what? To who? The owner of the place, of course, Mista. Talu. Whatever, Mista. Something. Young lady, go in there, pack your things, and get out of my house. I did not sign up for this. All I wanted was a nice getaway from work in a nice cozy place that felt like home. I came here by recommendation, by the way. My friend had a great experience and promised I would too. But I'm absolutely disappointed. I said, get out. I will, after getting my refund. I'm supposed to be here until the weekend. Maybe I should call the cop instead. Jenny, just call Tamula. Hello? Jenny, how's your trip going? I hope you're having the time of your life. Talula, I'm at home, and I want you to bring yourself down here this very moment. Gosh? Jenny, I can explain. I needed money really badly. You needed money to do what? Stuff. It was just this once. I promise. Your guest here said her friend recommended this place to her. You've been doing it a lot, Talula. I'm so busted. Okay, Jenny, here's the whole truth. I have a gambling addiction. Since you fired me from my job I don't have enough money to keep up with the game. You also stopped stashing money around in the house. I had to come up with a way to make money somehow. You've been stealing my money? No wonder you ransacked the house the first week you move in. Jenny I'm really sorry. I just can't help myself. I need assistance. Please help me. I'm afraid I can't help you anymore, Talula. I'm human, not a guardian angel. And I have bad news for you, you're leaving my house. What? No. Please don't send me back to the street, please. You will be pushing me back into a life of crime, Jenny. Don't do this. Your things would be waiting for you outside when you get back. Bye. I don't usually do this because I'm not a bad person, but I'm so giving this property a massive one star online. She even listed the house online. Take it easy on yourself, Jenny. Um. Okay, goodbye. Is that Talula? Yes. What does she want? Just informing me she's checked into a rehab center where she's getting the help she needs from her gambling and substance abuse. She does drugs too? I had no idea too. It's no wonder she was ranting some creepy stuff about energy some time ago. It really freaked me out. Good thing she's finally agreed she needs help. Jenny, what is it? I don't want her to return to a life of crime, it could land her in jail again. She's never had any real family members. She's really gone through a lot. I feel bad for sending her away. Jenny look at me. You're far too nice for your own good. It is not your responsibility to fix the problems of everyone on earth. Consider how much chaos she has brought into your life in just a few months. You have no idea, mom. You're lucky it didn't get any worse than this. I believe if she continued to live here, her addiction would make her steal from your workplace as well. You know how that will go down for you. Seriously, I can't even imagine that. Some won't even believe it was stolen. They'd say I kept it for myself. You know, I'm really going to brutally scrutinize the man who's going to whisk you away from me. <laughs> why would you do that? I know the value of what I have, and that's why I'm raising my shoulders. Why are you smiling? I met a guy. Goodness. Tell me all about him, I'm all ears. His name's Micah. We boarded the same plane to France. He lives in the States and... When are you inviting him over? Mom. We only exchanged numbers and that was it. I'm not even sure he's going to call. Are you sure? Good morning, miss. I'm from the police department, 
and I have been authorized to arrest you for embezzling company funds. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? You are definitely talking to the wrong person. I'm afraid, Miss Jenny, I'm very sure I'm talking to the right person and you are under arrest. You're mistaken. I haven't done anything wrong. You are advised to be quiet, as whatever you say or do could be used against you in court. Can I call my mom? I'll advise you to call your lawyer first. <laughs> How could your company set you up like this? This is evil. Your lawyer said you can't even get out on bail. Mom, it's not a setup. Someone who clearly has access to my credentials authorized a transfer from my account. They used my password, fingerprint, staff registration number, everything. We're looking at a minimum of 12 years in prison, Mom. It's that serious. But who could the thief be? It's no other than Talula. It is to be her. How could she have been able to get all of those details about you? Talula was the valedictorian of my class, Mom. Even though she's refused to put her talent to good use, she's still one of the most intelligent person I have ever met. I don't doubt for a moment that she's capable of doing it. I was just too stupid to let my guard down. Go ahead and tell the police so they can get her arrested wherever she is. I've told them what I know, and they're looking for her right now. However, my colleagues are not making things easy for me. According to my lawyer, he said they are all testifying against me. Even that manly I let go after I saw him making out with Talula in his office. He denied she has a gambling addiction. He even said I told him so myself. What are we going to do now? We'll just have to pray that God vindicates me. You're right. I'm really sorry I didn't listen to you, Mom. You were right, a part of me took Talula in because I wanted people to know I was a good person. Everybody hates me, Mom, everything I do repels them just because I wouldn't conform to the things that appeal to them. So I thought if I do this one nice deed... Jenny, shh, shh. You're not a bad person, I keep telling you that. If only people could see my heart. God made it impossible for people to see each other's heart for a reason. We're not meant to do our good deeds for the praises of others. The scriptures says if you do your good deed in secret, he who sees in secret would reward you openly. I'm so sorry, Mom. It's okay. I'm praying for you. The whole church is praying for you. Have faith. You are not going to prison. <laughs> Stop crying. Madam? It's Micah, right? You're right, Miss Jenny. You remember my name. Why wouldn't I? Well, you wouldn't call. Wait, what are you doing here? Jailbreak. What? I'm kidding. You're free to go. And if you'll go out on a date with me, I'll explain everything to you. Will you? Please open the door. Officer? The door, please. Mom, how do I look? Stunning. Remember to ask him all the questions I told you to. Oh, and also ask him if- Mom, I'm 29. Take care of yourself. Jenny. And you, are you just going to keep following me around? Don't you have more important things to do? I'm only doing my job, ma'am. I'm Mr. Joseph S. Doyle's son. You mean I'm on a date with the CEO's son? Wow. Technically speaking, he only owns 75% of the company's shares, so he's basically a co-owner. And the main owner too. How did you? My dad tells me everything about the company. So you knew who I was that day on the plane? Why didn't you tell me you were Mr. Joseph's son? I'm sorry. I didn't know I was supposed to tell every beautiful lady I meet on the plane who my dad is. You're pretty popular for your reign of terror. Am I that bad? Really? My dad loves you. In fact, he constantly yaps about you and the significant increase in returns the company has had since you became MD. I learned he ordered my arrest. He must have been really disappointed at me. No, it wasn't his idea. The other board members coerced him into ordering your arrest. But he immediately hired his own investigation team, and they quickly reached a conclusion on who the real thief is. It's Talula, right? Yes. 
but she's pleading that she's mentally unstable, and that would prevent her from getting a full term in prison. That cunning girl, make sure you have a real psychiatrist check so she doesn't disguise herself as ill and get away with this. Don't worry, the professionals are doing their job. Let's talk about us instead. So, is this an arranged date? Did your dad make you ask me out? Cause if that's what this is then... I think I like you. You think? Okay my dad does have a hand in it but I'm really starting to like you. You see that day at the airport, I was touched by how you got worried at the news of your mom's illness. Your job is super demanding, yet you still make your family a priority. That day I realize, if anything happens to my dad I won't really have any fond memory of us together. He constantly makes effort for us to spend some of our free time together but I keep pushing him away not minding the fact that while I am growing up, he's growing old. His healthy days are the best time we'll have together. Wow. That's a lot to unpack. How's your mom doing now? She's fine. She was hospitalized because she overdosed on her medications. Wow. How on earth did it happen? Don't worry, I have a nurse watching her like a hawk 24-7. <laughs> I think I used my words loosely earlier. You're a nice person and I really 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 like you. I'm just more on the shy end, I need a little bit of time to warm up to you. You don't sound like a shy type to me. I guess my facade is working then. Thank you to my lovely subscribers for watching this animation. You're all super duper amazing. If you are new here and you learned something from this animation, then hit the subscribe button already. This way you'll never miss my future uploads of animation stories with life lessons, which I'll continue to create because you are subscribed to my channel. Leave your feedback in the comment section below, and I'll be glad to answer everyone's questions as soon as I can.